In PVSYST, you can define far shadings and near shadings. In this tutorial, we will discuss the far shading, the horizon, and we will show you when it's appropriate to use this tool and as well as how to use it. The horizon tool in PVSYST allows us to define large, far away objects that can shade a complete PV system. This includes mountains and other environmental features. Horizon shading blocks direct and circumsolar irradiance for the entire PV system, as opposed to the near shadings, where only a part of the PV array is shaded at a given time. Of course, this does not mean that the irradiance is zero when the sun is below the horizon, as the albedo and diffuse component of the irradiance remain only partially shaded by the horizon line. The horizon tool should only be used for objects sufficiently far away so that at a given time, direct sunlight may be considered present or not present on the whole PV array. A rule of thumb for using the horizon tool is that the shading obstacle should be at at least 10 times further than the PV system field size. For example, if a PV system spans 10 meters, then shading objects needs to be at least 100 meters away. Ideally, the system size should also be much smaller than the horizon feature. However, for very large PV systems, this model of horizon shading becomes less and less relevant. Indeed, the horizon seen from two different locations on the site may differ significantly for large systems. In such a case, it is best to not include the horizon line, but instead to roughly represent topographical features in the 3D scene directly. To define the horizon line, click on the horizon button. Here you see the sun path diagram of your site. The sun path diagram is a graphical representation of the sun's trajectory across the sky at a specific location throughout the year. It helps to visualize the solar altitude and azimuth angle for different times of the day and year. On the x-axis, we have the azimuth angle and on the y-axis, the sun height angle. The lowest arc represents the solar path at the winter solstice. The upper arc shows the solar path of the summer solstice. The blue lines show the parts of the solar path that are behind the photovoltaic plane. Here the PV modules receive no direct beam nor circumsolar irradiance, even if there is no feature on the horizon. To manually draw a horizon profile, click on this red line. You can move points on the line using the left mouse button. You can add or remove new points by using the right mouse button. You can also manually define or modify points using the editable table on the right. There is a clear horizon button to start again from scratch. However, in practice, it is usually better to import a horizon line than to define it manually. To do this, click on the Read Import button. Firstly, you can import horizon profiles from files. You can load a horizon profile from your workspace. You can also import a standard CSV file. In this case, Take care to properly define the north azimuth angle and the direction of rotation of the azimuth as some sources set the north to 0 degrees and others set north to 180 degrees. Finally, you can import the standard HOR file from Meteonorm. PVGIS and Meteonorm allows to import files directly from their online databases. To do this, select the source via one of the radio buttons and then click Import from Web button. You will see a description automatically appear. Click OK. Now you can see the horizon applied to the sun path diagram. It is important when importing horizon profiles to make sure that your site file has very precise location definition. Here you can see the same sun path used in this example in Geneva, Switzerland. Here is the sun path in Belém, Brazil, which is in a subtropical region, much closer to the equator, with the same horizon applied. You can see that the sun path are almost vertical in the morning and in the evening, and that the azimuth range where horizon line and the sun path overlap is much more narrow. Because of these differences, horizon shading has a smaller relative impact in the subtropical regions than regions further from the equator. If you want to reuse the horizon line in another variant, you can click the Save button and save your horizon line in the PVC's internal format, with the HOR file name extension. Click OK to apply the horizon profile to your variant. Notice that the green LED is now illuminated on the horizon button. PVCs will ignore the situation in which the whole horizon line doesn't exceed a height of 2 degrees above the horizontal. In such a case, the LED light will stay inactive even if a horizon line has been defined. Run the simulation and if the horizon profile has feature higher than 2 degrees above the horizontal, far shading losses will apply to your simulation. 
You will also find the horizon profile in both table and graphical form in the report.